Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this video is to celebrate a feat that Outsider Genie has never achieved before. Outsider Genie managed yesterday at Fairview, the 1st of December, to tip you the winners or to give you the selection of the winners of all eight races. In the first race, not hard to find, our first selection was 12, number two, Fireworks, duly arrived. In the second race, our outright selection, number three, Broadside, arrived. Now, just to clarify, when I do my selections, I give an outsider selection, that is the horse that I think can win the race, it can be at any price. Then I give two outsider selections in no particular order. And those are two horses that I think that can either win or place in the race as well. So broadside also won, not hard to find. Then Lotus King also not hard to find. Um, I, took, I took a small all to come for 20 rand, two, three and one. And I collected just under 400 Rand for my 20 Rand. Then in race four, I give you a Ryan Express, which was second favorite and then ran favorite 53 to 10. Then in race five, I, my fancy was Barbet and Silver, but I was concerned about the fact that she was racing so close from Saturday to Monday or, for, uh, or Friday to Monday. But I did give us an outsider selection, a number two Palo Alta, which was at the time of the, of the race jump, was available at 10, 12 to 1. So that was an outsider selection. So my first three races was all, all my first, the first four races were all outright selections. That horse that I've selected to win the race. Then race six, I give you Magic Silver. Magic Seder, that was 53 to 10. That was also an outright selection. So out of six races, five outright, one outsider. Then in race seven, I strongly recommended Tile Al Gol. Let's have a listen to what I said. Alaskan fate, elusive data, seven to one, Talia Al Gol, seven to one, beneficiary, eight to one, Red Berry, eight to one, ten to one, and long in the, the field. So here my selection is number seven. Talia Al Gul. Now, first of all, Whenever I, I've been seeing this name, I was wondering, what is Thai, Thalia Al Ghul? So I did a little Google search and I came across this. Oh, and I just want to share it with you a little bit of user information. Um, Thalia is the daughter of the super villain Raya Al Ghul, the granddaughter of Zir Sensei, the half sister of whatever name on and off gifted lover, girlfriend lover of the superhero Batman and the mother of Damien Wayne, the fifth Robin. She's al alternately been depicted as an anti-hero and ally to Batman at times. So, okay, then now it answers my question because I was wondering what is this? I've got no clue what that is because I don't follow those things, but uh, yeah, good luck. But now some interesting things is, this is race seven, the horse is number seven, and it's and 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 it's kind of betting is seven to one. Maybe that is a pointer that we're on the right direction. But let's just have a look at number seven. Again, number seven was a seventy-nine before. Now a sixty-two. Um, is now running in an E D, D division sixty-four. Has run in seventy-threes and sixty-nines before behind Sanskrit. Um, and I've just feel, got a feeling that there's a reason why Lyle Hewitson is on board this horse because he doesn't often ride for Aki's trade on. So uh, I'm thinking that uh, you know, number seven 
tell you how gold can be the business year. Here it ran 4.1 behind Wiz of Oats. Wiz of Oats has one, another two races after that. So my first selection, number seven. Outside of selection, and as I always say, in no particular order. Um, okay, so that was then uh, race seven. And then, um, so out of the eight races, out of the first seven races, six of my winners was outright selections and one outsider selection. And let's move to the eighth race. Where number eight, Big Move, was my outsider selection. And uh, I just want to quickly move D. In the um, number one box, as I said, Tara Lang, hopefully, uh, Stable will get back in form soon. And also Big Mav, wow, this was last time out. You need to see this. Uh, that's my other outsider selection. Big Mav was 40 lengths behind at the 400 meters and he finished at 22.3. He was flying and uh, a repeat of that run can also, and maybe if it's a little bit closer to the, uh, to the front runners and he finished like that, can also be involved in the finish. Then um, I just want to have a look at the favorite number. Well, I just I would like to share this with you um, because I just also want to mention my first my outright selection that race was number two Sporting Post. Now you will notice how far he's out of his ground, and he managed to flew up to finish fifth. A uh, fifth, definitely a horse that you need to follow for the future. Number two. Golden Ducket. Turn it up, Harvey. Comes up to complete the lineup. 1,600 metres. Gates crash open. And they sent on their way. First one to break. Well, there are a few that broke out nicely. Khal Yun, turn it up, Harvey. Didn't break as well as Khal Yun, but he's right up in the mix. Then comes Maldives in the black and white colours against the insider's chainsaw, just over a length away to the dictator in the green sleeves and the blue cap with Big Myth racing a length behind that. Then comes All in Line, the yellow sleeves and the green cap now being passed by Captain's Vista. Spirit of Song is the trailer, but they're going a good pace down the back straight. He's got around 1,000 metres left to go. Turn it up, Harvey, in front by about a length. Khal Yun second, black and White colours of Maldives got third at the outside of he Chainsaw, who's well placed and racing yeah, about Big three Myth lengths the off the leader. Big Myth was next, that's kept company by the dictator in the blue cap. All in line further I'm, back, must be racing I, I around seven lengths off the leader, then two lengths yet. away to Captain's Vista and Spirit of Song is still the trailer but as they make their way down the side of the course and went past me. the 700. Turn it up, Harvey, way. by one length. Maldives improved to race second. Khao Yun drops into third. Big Myth gaining ground on the outside, but is three deep in improving. Further back to Chainsaw. That'll come for home racing about Look, three lanes off the leader all of a sudden there. with a few horses in front of him. All in line. Travels uh, racing about uh, midfield. Then over and there inside is the Dictator. Mid Captain's Vista and Spirit of Song as near as does. Turn it up Harvey. Being joined by Maldives. Then comes Chainsaw. All in lines towards the inside. Big Myth trying to hammer away. Spirit of Song. White blinkers. 150 out. Turn it up Harvey. Brave. All in line up the inside. Then Maldives and Big Myth near as does. Is rushing up to them. Big Myth and all in line, Big Myth got it from All in line, or turn it up, Harvey. Then came Maldives. You see what, and also you see Big Myth coming up there, and then also Spirit of Song. So get to get back, yes. Um, so all in all, it's the first time in my life I've tipped the winners of eight races. Of the eight races, six were outright selections, and two were outsider selections. Um, in that, I tipped for 108 rand. I tipped the pick six for 1%, so you would have gotten 649 rand back. And then unfortunately, in the last leg, I fell out. I had two and um, five in there. I should have added the, the eight. Otherwise, we would have had the PA also twice. And then also lastly, in race five, I tipped you the quartet 2518. For an outlay of 360 rand, you would have collected 1,180 rand. So all in all, a good day for Outsider Genie. I've never done this before. I'll always remember the 1st of December, 2020 was the day Outsider Genie gave the selections of all eight races
in a race meeting. Thank you for listening and have a great day.